seen past eight. We're coming to the end of Samoan Language Week, and if you didn't know, Samoan is the third most spoken language in New Zealand. But often it's communities that struggle to speak English that are the silent majority. This is where Becca comes in. Becca, an independent advisory, design and engineering consultancy, created a Samoan speaking chatbot. And the inspiration behind all of this, one of their summer interns who's passionate about creating a space where his Samoan community can be heard. Here to explain is Business Director and Project Lead for Conversational Artificial Intelligence, Matt Ensor, and AI Research and Development intern Luke Fitzpatrick. Manuia Le Tayao. Good morning to you both. Morning. Um, Matt, I just want to start with you first because, um, forgive me, but I actually don't even know what a chatbot is um, and what its purpose is. So could you please enlighten me? Yeah, yeah. So we do a lot of work in public engagement. Um, and what we find is that um, the most successful public engagement is when you can have one on one conversations. Uh, and so we designed Tala to really mimic that that kind of one on one conversation where the person who's giving their feedback can lead the conversation. Um, they can talk about what they want to talk about rather than filling out a survey form. So Tala, we, we used um, IBM Watson technology to develop something. It's a bit like a chatbot. Uh, so um, Tala will talk in Samoan and the person can um, respond in Samoan. As I say, it's very different to every other chatbot uh, in that it's, it's, it's all about listening to what people want to say. So in, in the context of, of a chatbot, when you are online and uh, make contact with, is it a business and a chatbot comes up? So how does that take me back to the basics of what a chatbot actually does? Yeah, so for Tara, um, it was at, uh, it's through a web browser. Um, so you'll um, uh, load up your web browser and Tara will introduce itself uh, and ask you an open question. Just say, hey, you know, what do you think about um, um, this, this project uh, uh, in your neighbourhood uh, and then you have a chance to just start typing and it's a very natural process it's just the same as having a having a one-on-one -on -one conversation so this is this is for the community right it's the community yeah. that we use this yeah so one of the problems we have is scale so if we wanted to have one-on-one -on -one conversation with a thousand people uh, that's very, very um, difficult. But with AI, it's just as easy to have a conversation with a thousand people one on one as it is uh, with, with one. It's crazy when you think about it. Now, Luke, this was your idea, right? Where did the spark come from to develop a tool to help community? Uh, as you mentioned before, it was all about getting the silent majority out of communities. <laughs> um, and of course, one way to do that is getting it in another language where people wouldn't have the chance to give their own opinions on any projects, any issues in their community, anything about that. So it's about make, making sure that people's voices are heard, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just um, beautiful. Keeping that in some more. I'm sure when translating a language, there will be some challenges. I relate it to Māori and we have different iwi or different tribes around New Zealand. And everybody's got their way of speaking and they use different words for things. So what were some of the challenges when you were looking at translating? Yeah, so in Samoan, there's a high like formal language and then a normal conversational modern type of language. So getting a balance between those two was quite difficult um, so that everyone can understand but also no one can feel offended or using any sign. That was the main difficulty but in the end it turned out quite well and the yeah, feedback from users have been quite well too. Yeah, and I want to talk about that feedback um, shortly, but who was helping you with the translating? Was that just you or did, was there a community of people that you tapped into? Um, with the translating, I myself don't really know much form or someone, yep. but I got help from other elders in the community and people are a lot more knowledgeable than me to help yeah, get, get the language done properly as it should be. So talk about the feedback. What sort of feedback have you had from the community? Have they found it easy to use? Have they found it useful? Do they feel like their voices have been heard? Um, so went out and talked to a lot of people who used it. Um, people from the Samoan community, people from university, spies, specific and Maori engineers. Um, and 
a lot of people relish the opportunity to speak in their own language and feel comfortable conversating, conversing in their own language. And yeah. Matt, how brilliant um, is Luke? And what were your thoughts and how did you react um, when he came up with this idea? Yeah, yeah. One of the things about AI is you can have all these grand dreams about uh, about doing stuff, but, but you really have to have people who understand uh, the culture um, and the demographics of people who are going to use it. So there was no way I could have I could have done what Luke's done. So no, it was Luke's been fabulous on the project. Yeah, we couldn't have done it without him. Just brilliant. And I love the fact that you're collaborator collaborating and working together. Matt Ensor, mm -hmm. Becca, business director, and Luke Fitzpatrick, AI research and development intern. We do appreciate um, your time this this morning. Talo for lava. Thank you. Thank That's you. incredible. How neat. It's a scary thing, a young, younger intern at a company putting your hand up and going, I think I've got something here. Mm. Yeah, that, I think that comes from the heart in terms of what he was trying to create. Totally. For, you know, his own Because he cared community. about it. And, yes. And he could see the need for it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it must be hugely rewarding for, for him, considering he said himself, I'm not fluent, to be able to do it and learn at the same time. That's well, awesome. that's, you know, and that's where you know, okay, I've got to get other people in to help yeah. me. Yeah, no, it's beautiful, brilliant. Making news this morning in the US, parts of Minneapolis are burning as outrage grows over the death of a black man.